A tragic day for Independence, Jackson County, indeed the entire metro. An Independence police officer and a court process server are dead after coming under fire in rural Northeast Independence. Two other officers also wounded. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. So police are reporting they do have a suspect in custody. That shooting happened just before one o'clock this afternoon, just south of a rural intersection where North Elsie Smith crosses uh, Bunchu near 24 Highway. The Fort Osage School District says its schools were on lockdown out of caution, but the lockdown was lifted shortly after that. Our Fox 4 team coverage begins with Jonathan Ketz live at Center Point Hospital where the victims were taken after the shooting. And John, we watched live just moments ago on Fox 4 News at 5 as motorcycle officers formed that procession to accompany officer, the fallen 35 year old officer, Cody Allen, father of two, husband and also a son. What's the latest from there? Yeah, it was it was a sad day. There were a number of officers obviously there and a majority of the officers who were coming down the hill leading the uh, Center Point Medical Center here during this procession were on a motorcycle with their lights flashing. We had seen them all day. They finally left here at about 530 uh, this evening. We were right at the intersection here on 37th Street and 37th Terrace Court South just north of the hospital as those officers came down the hill to turn onto the street and leave. About a half hour before the procession, Fox 4 Shannon Russo was at a news conference just about 200 yards west of where we were standing near the dialysis center here. And here's what Police Chief Adam Dustman said about Officer Cody Allen and what Judge Jalila Otto said about civil process server Drexel Mack, both of whom lost their lives this afternoon. Again, this is a, this is more than just a job. This is a life. It is a calling. Um, you don't raise your hand and, and go towards danger uh, when others typically run away without something that is ingrained in your spirit uh, and who you are as a person. And uh, he was that that person. He was that spirit, and so he missed it. Um, and uh, I was very proud um, and excited when he uh, came back to serve. He is, I think, 43 years old, maybe 40. Two, um, has been with the court for over 12 years. Um, he has a fiance who lives here in the local area and some family here, but also some family down in Florida. Um, so he's, he's got family in both places, some adult children as well. This was also Cody Allen's second stint with the Independence Police Department. He left to pursue a job in the private sector and the police chief told us that he loved being an officer so he came back to the force and he lost his life today. Funeral arrangements are now pending. We also know obviously this is the second death in the line of duty for the Independence Police Department in the last two and a half years with Officer Blaze Madrid Evans losing his life in September of 2021. John, Jonathan Kitts live at Center Point Medical Center, Eastern Jackson County tonight. And as our coverage continues now, let's Get you back to near the crime scene. Fox 4's Malik Jackson, one of the first reporters who arrived on scene. Malik, do you have an update there? That's the thing. We've, we've got three cameras here, and we're trying to do it with one. Yeah, with Lauren Brian's. and John, I'm going to step out of the way. This Operation 100 that is being run by KCPD is still happening before our eyes. Now, when we spoke with Captain Jake Bikina earlier this afternoon, he told us they were doing this out of precaution because as we know now, three people were shot. We lost an officer. We lost a, a, a process server today. And so they're taking every precaution. They don't know if someone else is inside of the home. So right now they are having negotiators down on the ground. We've seen SWAT trucks down on the ground. Um, this house is still about a quarter mile down the road from where we're standing at right now. And that is what's happening right now. Again, there is a suspect that is in custody, but right now they're just doing their due diligence to make sure that no one else is inside of that home before they enter it and begin processing this scene. I now want to give you an overview of what we learned from police and the Missouri State Highway Patrol from earlier today. Two multiple, I should say, civil process servers came to this home to serve an eviction notice. When they got to the home, 
they knock on the door presumably and then one of those process servers was shot when that happened another process server that was there on the ground called 911 as well as a neighbor that is when independence police officers responded to the home when they responded to the home they immediately started to render aid to this process server that now we know is drexel mack and has died that is when these officers were shot as well one of them still in critical condition the other passing away then we do know that more officers responded not only from independence but from the jackson county sheriff's office as well as the kansas city missouri police department the suspect was wounded and he was taken into custody right now again this operation 100 is still rolling on behind me as they try to make sure no one else is in that home but again as Ketz uh, has relayed to us and as you guys have done this is a sad day not only for independence but for the entire metro area 